My daughter just finished her first year of college and she's heading home tomorrow to spend the summer with us. So let's do a little bedroom makeover for her. As some of you may remember, I've done bedroom makeovers for both her little sisters and now it's Bella's turn. I started by cleaning her room top to bottom and then we built her bed and by we, I mean my husband. Thanks babe. This vintage inspired rug is from Wayfair. It was so cute and I built her entire room off of this bed. I got it from Amazon and it's just super princessy so that's the theme we went with. And for above her bed, I went with a wooden sign with one of her favorite quotes from one of her favorite movies. If you can guess it, bonus points to you. This bedroom makeover was so much fun because Bella knows exactly what she likes so I had a blast shopping for this project and i'm also really excited because i don't think she has any idea i'm doing this but i know she was waiting patiently just like a lot of you guys in my comment section i love that everything in here is a mixture of new and old so it really ties into the vintage style but also very modern and princess like i feel like at this point i'm an expert in bella's style because she sends me a million text messages a day with everything that she wants so this bedroom in a way is kind of a manifestation of her own i started this entire project out on canva which is an app i use on my phone to put everything together and make sure that everything looks cohesive and it's always so much fun to see everything come to life a couple of weeks ago, we had a guest and Bella had to sleep in her little sister's room and she could not get over how comfortable it was. So my goal was to make this room super cozy, but with so many touches of her personal style. I put a framed photo of herself in here as a joke and I'm popping some gold earrings of my own in here just to style everything out. I know I'm never going to get those back. And after adding these final touches, I'm finally finished with her room. Everything came out so perfect. Her room is definitely so much more comfortable and inviting and I'm pretty much obsessed with every single part of it. There were a couple of hiccups as far as the configuration of how I was going to set everything up, but it all worked out in the end. If you look at the wall across from her bed with the framed prints in it, that was supposed to be the dresser and the TV on top, but it didn't work out because the bed came out too far. But in the future, we plan on possibly mounting a TV there for her. And then walking over to the sheer curtains, this was one of my favorite parts as well. We actually ordered some curtain pullbacks on Amazon that didn't come in time, so we're going to get those up as soon as we can. And the last thing that didn't work out was a ceiling fan. I chose one that had a chandelier built in, and I was not 100% sure if she would love it, so I'm going to just allow her to choose one when she gets home. And that's it. This is her finished room. I think everything came out so beautiful, and I'm so excited for her to come home tomorrow, and I can't wait to see her reaction. I'm hating the vibes in my bedroom lately. This is supposed to be my sanctuary, so I'm redoing it. I noticed all the pictures I'm drawn to have one common denominator, box trim. First, this accent wall absolutely had to go. I'm sorry they're out. Once I got my measurements, I just sliced through this trim with miter shears. These things are awesome. You can just keep them at your workspace, and they cut right through your trim at a 45-degree angle. Another lifesaver was my spacing block. Should you be using a level for this? Yeah, did I? No. I will say, though, as far as power tools, the brad nailer was imperative. I'd be able to just rent one. If I didn't have a wall to use as a brace for my spacing block, I would just put it on the inside of my corner, and it would give me a right angle, and that worked fine. Another Another thing, if your corners are not perfect, wood filler will save the day. Because honestly, they're not going to be perfect with these shears, but if you use a miter saw, they will be. I just didn't want to. I chose this trim from Home Depot because they had free delivery, and I thought the bevel was luxurious, and it is. It adds such a nice touch. Another confession just between us, I didn't put little boxes behind the bed because this is the only place that the bed's ever going to go, okay? This might be my favorite home project to date as far as transformation value. Total cost for the project was around 200 bucks. Took about four days worth of nap times. Did also choose to get our sconces hardwired with a switch added by the bed, and it's so amazing. Anytime you're working with boxes or framing you're gonna have some corners that look like this a little creative patching and some joint compound it's fine allow me to remind you where we started and here's where we ended up just think it's so luxurious in here it feels like a hotel we all know the key to being wealthy is tax evasion but if you want to feel wealthy do box trim
what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward and never turned back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you.